Yemen is located in the Middle East, between Oman and Saudi Arabia. The size of Yemen is about 530,000 square kilometers of land. It has no bodies of water. This is about 5% the size of the United States of America. The land on the east is filled with hot desert and the land to the west is temperate with seasonal monsoon. It is also hot and humid along the coast. Only about 3% of the land can be used to grow any crops, so it will be impossible for this to become an agricultural country. Yemen has a population of about 26 million people and is ranked 48th in the world. This is about 8% of the population in the U.S. As of 2013, the GDP of Yemen is about 41 billion. 63% of the country's GDP comes from government revenue, and 25% comes from oil resources. Some of Yemen's natural resources are petroleum, fish, rock salt, marble, and small deposits of coal, gold, nickel, lead, and copper. It also has an abundant amount of oil and natural gases. Yemen's government depends on the country's hydrocarbon sector. Hydrocarbons account for 89% of total export revenues. The hydrocarbons sold provide around 5 billion towards government revenues. Because of this, 90% of the population do not have electricity because most of the natural gas is exported for profit. Besides natural gas, Yemen has two cash crops, coffee and cotton. Yemeni coffee crops grew in the northern highlands and is very renowned and important export since the 18th century. Another cash crop is cotton. Cotton grows in the northern and eastern coastal plains of the country and is supported by the government, which contributes to the national income. Yemen has a labor force of 7.1 million, with 35% of the population being unemployed and 45% below the poverty line. Another problem with Yemen is their poor economic and social conditions. They have forced child labor and sex trafficking, Yemeni children are constricted into the armed forces or tribal or rebel militia. 80% of Yemenis chew got on a daily basis, which is a plan for getting high. 40% of the country's water supply go towards irrigating got. Yemen's government is corrupted, which leads to political instability. This is also why Yemen's economy is not doing so well, because the people in charge do not do their best for the country. How we plan to turn Yemen from a less developed country to a developed nation is by taking advantage of the Bab el Mandeb. The Bab el Mandeb is a strait linking the Red Sea and the Gulf of Aden and is one of the world's most active shipping lanes. What we plan to do is build ports and shipping yards along the strait on the coast of Yemen.